Hello everyone. Today let's talk about how to decorate your house for fall even when you don't really know how to go about doing that. I have a five step simple process to get your house decorated for the fall. This is a super easy process to make sure that everything that you buy is going to flow together and we're going to make sure that you buy exactly what you need to achieve the look that you want instead of a whole bunch of random mishmash. So step number one is what are you decorating? Look around your house and decide where it is that you want to put the decorations. Do you maybe have a bland corner somewhere that could use an autumn spruce up? Do you need a fall centerpiece for a dining room or kitchen table? Do you have a spot on a coffee table that you want to upgrade? Figure out where in your house you're going to want your decorations to go. This keeps the process from becoming too random so that you don't know what you want to buy or what you're buying it for. If you don't do this first, you fall into that category of buying anything and everything that you think is cute and it's not going to be cohesive and half the time you're going to get home and you're not really going to know even where you want to put it. Step number two, haul out your old decorations from last year and years before. Take a look at them, see what you still want to use, maybe what needs replaced, get an idea of what your previous color schemes were. Do you still want to go with that or do you want to maybe try something new and different? Do you have some things that you can decorate those places you identified in step one with? that you just maybe need to supplement a little bit, or do you have all new ideas where you're gonna be starting from scratch? Step number three is smart brainstorming. I say smart brainstorming because anybody can go to Pinterest and just pin all of the fall things and still not have any idea what they really want to do. So a couple of things to consider here. One is your color scheme. There are so many different options for fall color schemes. You have the traditional bright oranges and reds with gold and plaids with a little bit of green in them, traditional harvest colors. There's the more toned down, a slightly muted option of those classic colors where you're gonna have those rusty pumpkin oranges and a lot of earth tones and you're looking at some burlap and that kind of hue. And then some people throw it all out the window and they're gleaning towards the creams and the whites and almost like a muted teal or blue tones. So think about your color scheme so you don't come home with a bunch of bright orange pumpkins, but then also some things that are like burlap and gray. Also, when you're doing your smart brainstorming for decorating for fall, you can get really enamored with the things that you see on Pinterest without stopping to think, huh, I don't have a place in my house for that. So for instance, I always fall in love with the way people decorate their entryways on Pinterest. In my house, I don't have much of an entryway. I just have one sort of bland corner that I decided I wanted to spruce up this year. But if you find a picture like that on Pinterest, you can use it for inspiration. For instance, I've seen entryways that have an entire table that have room for a blanket ladder and three floor vases with lots of faux florals coming out of them. You can take inspiration from that and if you have room for maybe one or two floor vases, go with that and ditch the rest. Another important thing to think about here is your limitations. As much as I love those faux florals and grasses and all of those things that I think are so beautiful, I have cats. Cats are going to chew on that, tug it down, break the vase that it's in trying to get their teeth into it. Not a good idea. Likewise, if you have small children or dogs or other things going on in your house where a decoration that you really love just isn't going to make it, pass it. If you guys are enjoying this video right now, don't forget to click subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Step number four is the fun part. We hit the shops. The most important thing to do here is take a list. Take that list based on what you thought about in the previous step and then stick to it. When I went shopping for my fall decorations this season, there were so many cute things that I saw that weren't on my list that I seriously considered buying, bringing home, and just finding a place for. And then I thought to myself, hey girl, that completely defeats the purpose of what we're doing. Leave it behind, stick to the list. There are great places that you can get seasonal decor at really good prices. Believe it or not, Home Depot and um, DIY stores along those lines tend to have a pretty good collection. Here in town, I think it is a chain, there's a store called At Home. That one is fantastic. Tons of things for really affordable prices. You have the classics, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and what's the third one? Marshalls. Obviously, Home Goods is probably your best bet amongst the three, but there are home sections in all of them. So if one is near you, hit that one up. And of course, we all love a good target run. And the fifth and final step is assembly. So you're gonna bring home everything that you've just bought. You're gonna mix and match it with what you already had from the previous years that you were deciding to use again. And then you just get to play. Start putting things together, start trying things in different locations if what you originally thought isn't gonna work out. And number one rule, don't take tags off of anything until you are convinced that you have it where you want it and it's going to work there. Otherwise, you might wanna end up returning it for something else. 
And the sort of invisible step six that's going on here, for me anyway, this is never completed in one haul in one decorating session. I find things that I like, and then as the season goes on, maybe I find some textiles that I wanna update my, my pillows and my sofa with, or a throw blanket that has some nice seasonal colors. Things that allow me to add touches as the season goes on. So that's it guys, five easy steps, simple process for decorating your home for fall when you don't know how. I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate you and your viewership and I will see you in my next video. Have fun decorating, bye-bye.